My name is Toby Ott and I'm 27 years old. I have quite a few hobbies. I love watching television and films. I also love watching YouTube videos and I am also a video game fan. I've been playing video games for quite a long time now, since five years old. I've been blind since birth. I was born with a condition called bilateral anophthalmia, which means born without eyes. Um, it's quite rare. I think it's like one in a hundred thousand children are born with it every year or something like that. I went to mainstream school, primary and secondary. And then when I was 16, I went to the Royal National College for the Blind in Hereford for three years and studied music AS level as well as a BTEC in performing arts. After that I went to Lewisham College to study business IT and I got a HND in business IT. Being blind obviously getting around is quite a difficult thing. Um, you know I have I had when I was younger to learn a white cane. And when I was at Hereford at RNC when I was 16, obviously I had to learn, even at school as well, I had to learn the routes to get around the building so I could get to classes on my own. Um, after that, I managed to be sort of independent. And I used to, when I was at Hereford, come home on the train on my own from Hereford to London Paddington. In terms of the way I read and write, I started learning Braille when I was free. I'm currently using a Braille Note Touch, which is the first Braille tablet in the world that also works with Android as well and it has built-in speech software as well as a brow display and touch screen. I learned how to touch type because I went on a touch typing course and when I actually used the computer I use on my Windows computer I use a screen reader called JAWS and on my Apple Mac, it has a built-in speech software called VoiceOver. So if I want to watch that video, I press, I select it. Press link. Upcut Walt Disney YouTube video player group with nine ads. And there we go. I've been a video game fan since five years old. In an arcade where I played Mortal Kombat 1 and Street Fighter. Since then, I after that, I bought a PlayStation and the first two games I ever had were Star Gladiator, which was a space fighting game, and Tekken 2. I've played Soul Calibur, which is another brilliant fighting game series. And I beat my friends when we fight each other. In 2003, I bought a PlayStation 2 as well as Final Fantasy X. With the help of my friend and my cousins, I was able to learn how the menu system and battle system work. And I've been able to play the game including walk around different areas and fight the random encounters and the boss battles. I've also now got into game modding. So I download Doom 2 wads from a archive and I play in terms of shooting the monsters and I have been lucky enough to complete a large number of maps over the last 10 years of playing Doom regularly. I really enjoy RPG games 
like Final Fantasy for example, because I love a game with a good storyline and interesting boss fights and music. The music as well is a big part for me in terms of gaming. There's a big thunderstorm, there's lightning strikes everywhere and that you've got to try and dodge the lightning in order to get across safely without getting struck. I enjoy the voice acting as well because voice acting is a way that you sort of feel attached to the character or characters in the story. I also enjoy fighting games because I like to fight against my friends or fight online against people and I have beaten people online before with higher ranks than me. I also like first person shooters like the old classics Doom and Duke Nukem because I love the sound effects of the monsters and I also enjoy seeing how many monsters I can kill with in one shot with the different weapons. Because I'm blind I can't access all the health packs and all the armour so I use god mode so that I can actually enjoy the maps. I also use a cheat where I can go through the walls because I can't find all the keys to the doors and because I can't complete all maps I also use a level select cheat as well. Video games are challenging to play because obviously they're very visual um, but I enjoy the challenge of learning how to play these games like Final Fantasy for instance, just trying to do the same stuff that gamers do generally. I got stuck on a boss in Final Fantasy X for 8 weeks and I kept trying and trying and trying and failing and then eventually I defeated it and I was like finally I've done it, a, a brilliant. Now I can see what happens next in the story. It's just the thrill of beating, spending time beating a hard game and thinking, oh my god, I've actually beaten this without help after learning the ropes with my friend. And it's just that amazing feeling. It really is an amazing feeling. So when I learn how to play a video game, my friend has to teach me how to navigate each menu, so where certain stuff is in a menu. And then once I know how to navigate that menu, I try it myself to see if I can actually do it. In games like Final Fantasy, for example, Music is a really important factor because the music identifies the area that you're in. What I always try and do is aim for a save point, generally. Oh, I'm in Macalania. Hmm. So I know that if I'm on a high road or in a cave, for example, the music for that area plays. And if a battle begins, the music changes, so I know whether I'm in a normal battle or a boss battle, for example. Some fighting games, like Injustice Gods Among Us, for example, have audio cues. So you can identify where you are on the screen in the arena, which is really useful. Especially if it's an arena that has, say, water that you can fall into. It gives you an indication of what part of the arena you're fighting in and whether you have to move the other way. 
in order to avoid certain traps. There are some games that unfortunately I can't play so so that I get an understanding of what the game and the story is all about I normally watch the walkthroughs on YouTube so that I can still enjoy the story of that particular game. Whilst playing these games I you know listening to the music the voice acting, the cutscenes, I really imagine what the world is like and what the game wants you to think about in terms of the way the characters live in that world. I, I do imagine when I'm sleeping or even just when I'm thinking about what the world is like. You know, like for example, the characters are going on a journey and I'm going on a journey with those characters and imagining what they're feeling about the whole world and its people. And I just find that that is important when it comes to a game. In order to improve video games for blind people, I think Firstly, one of the most important things that need to be put in is audio description for cutscenes, for example. So that when there is a point in the cutscene where there's no talking between the characters, someone that could describe what's going on or the area that you're in in the game and say the different directions you can go in that area in order to get to another, a new area, for example. Also, maybe having some form of built-in screen reader in a game could prove useful. I also think that having audio navigation of menus would be useful. I played a fighting game called Virtual Fighter 4 and what was great about that is that it had audio navigation in the menu. So I knew what each item was in that menu. So I actually didn't need help from my friend to navigate that menu because I was able to access it independently. I know it could be done, especially having audio explaining where you are and how you can navigate around that area. I would say, you know, any blind person out there, you know, try a video, try a video game of some kind, whether it be a RPG or a fighting game or even a shooting game, for instance, like Doom. You know, even if you play it with a sighted friend and then learn how to navigate around the game and you will get absorbed into the world that the game wants you to learn about and it's been a big part of my life it's been great fun and i still enjoy it even today and i really want other blind people to you know try these video games because they will i hope feel the same way